Hi, welcome back to Insomnia Gaming. It's 9 a.m. I have not yet gone to sleep. And I have just finished my bath. When I have been in that bath, I thought I should probably wash my hair. And then I thought, hmm, my, why is my hair in need of a wash already? Haven't I washed it yesterday? But was yesterday just now or was that... Was that before? What is yesterday, I thought to myself. Is it today? Is it two days ago? Is it before I slept or is it... Is it before before? And let me tell you that when the question of what is yesterday becomes a philosophical debate in your mind, it means you really have to straighten up your sleeping schedule. <laughs> I am so confused about everything, including what yesterday is. I am trying to straighten up my schedule. I would like to sit awake at least until 8 in the evening today. I don't know if it's going to be possible because I'm already getting a bit sleepy. But that is why I have launched Skyrim and I might try to just play Skyrim the entire day just to, I don't know, kind of survive it. But I don't know if it will work, probably not. I'm still going to attempt it. So anyway, the game has decided to troll me, or maybe I decided to troll myself. Well, whatever the case is, I actually played through what we are going to play. It was like half an hour before I realized that it wasn't recording because I have pressed something or didn't press or whatever. And well, normally I would just be like, give a recap of what happened and move on. But what happened was actually pretty damn cool and I want to showcase it. So as difficult as it was, I will try to do it. And it might not go well because I got a little bit lucky last time. There were some rampant skeletons that came to my help. Ironically, they were supposed to kill me, but... Yes, 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 command, you wait here for now. There is... There is this Nordic plateau ahead, as you can see. And there is stuff there, guys. There is a new kind of encounter. It comes from immersive creatures, as far as I know because I remember reading something like that, about something like that in the Immersive Creatures. It is bloody difficult. I can cheese it just a bit. But it is definitely something I want to showcase. So let's hope the skeletons come again. As you can see, I was actually playing and there was a grrr when I realized what was happening and I just went into the tomb to see what's up. But then I've decided that I will just... I have started recording in the tomb, but then I was like, ah, nah, this, this is too cool to pass out. <laughs> I just, I really want to showcase this. And the tomb actually turned out to not be possible to do anything in. Okay, so the bow is drawn. Because it is uh, probably quest, quest related. There was no way to get anywhere. Okay, I think that's that's all the preparations I have actually. I'm going to save it because it's very possible I will have to redo this again a bunch more times unless the skeletons come again. The skeletons really were were the key here. Okay, I think we have the skeletons. Guys, we have the skeletons. Or something else. Whatever it is, it is our chance. Compass, come back. Hybrid soul cultist. Ugh. They are vampires, something I think vampire werewolf hybrid. Either way, really difficult, and they have those gargoyles that were blocking me from killing anything. So I'm going to be saving in the middle of this battle, and I will be. Hoping for the best. I think I need my razor. And I just need to try to just smack them because otherwise I will get smacked. 
Those minions are actually beatable. The cultists are the biggest issue. Just Razor, Razor, Razor is amazing. Okay, go for the wolf. God damn it, where did the wolf go? Stop fighting the bloody Spriggan or Goblin or whatever. This is not our problem here. These are problems. Can I get my compass back? Thank you. Oh, that's a lot of things. There is another cultist there. And one more. Stop slowing me! Okay, we are dead. They are sucking the life out of me. I don't know. Is my vampire drain at all good? I haven't used it yet, but this is how they heal. But I think ours is going to suck. Every, every magic we've got sucks in comparison to the magic of others. Let's try to... Where, why is my wolf leaving me all the time? Does it not see I have a problem here? They are regenerating too. Have I drunk it already? No. Would you mind actually helping me? Some of those attacks really, really propel me forward or to the sides, which is really problematic. Okay, that's one minion down. I have to take it one by one because they are really strong. They drop good stuff though, look at this. This is so good for us because those files are so difficult to make. What is the sound? We would need to have um, a venom spittle and I don't have that so... Very good find. Okay. Well, this isn't going to go well, is it? No, there is a shitload of them. How about we run to Karalaya and stuff? Help me! Help me! I didn't even have a drain. Probably too weak for that. I think I killed Karalaya. Okay, let's try that again. I have won this battle once, so it is winnable. It's just not easy. And the biggest problem are definitely the cultists, so let's try to run for them. I hate the fact that my compass is just disappearing. Okay, I cannot, they are, they are slowing me too much. Try this one. This slow, this slow from this the frost spells is impossible. Okay, we have frost atronach. I need flame. Okay, so Skyrim crashed, and I don't have it in me right now to try to fight this again. I just, I just don't. I'm going back to the save where I have already won the battle. We have not not nothing more that was really interesting happened. We went we went to talk to the guy that Carlia told us to talk to, and basically basically he said he cannot translate the things, and he sent us to Kalselmo in Markarth, and we have fixed the 
Wailandira or Calcum Ingot. And the uh, missing apprentice also. So we have found the missing apprentice in the Skiver Shrine. After that I went here and I discovered that I can't do anything here, so... So basically you have to just... Well, you've seen what, what the fight does, right? And then there's the altar and there was a staff on it. A staff that looks like this. Or not, because it's probably in a horse. Also, I have to get on frost. Let's just do something different, because that battle is difficult and I was glad to have won it once. I don't quite want to win it again. I'm sure we will encounter those guys again. Anyway, the thing we have found is the Staff of the Perfect Blood. While the moons are out, summons a Perfect Blood Hybrid for 60 seconds wherever the caster is pointing. <clears throat> it summons one of those gargo gargoyles, but only when the moons are out, so only at night. It could be pretty, pretty good. It comes from immersive creatures, <coughs> and I wonder if it's not something the museum would want. So I wanted to go to the Iskramur tomb, but since we cannot, because it's probably a quest location. Let's see, that's another shrine of Talos. There is a lot of Talos shrines. And if it goes like this when it comes to Cadence talking about the, the skills, I might just turn those lines off entirely. Once we have heard them enough times. <laughs> oh, right, I have already prepared myself for fighting Draugr that were, that were uh, never there. So now we fight a husky that apparently impervious the fire. Because that makes sense. I just want to ping this shrine on the map, see if they have anything worth stealing, maybe. Let me up, let me up. Okay, they're up. There is a lot of Talos shrines. The importance of where? Nothing here, just... Just Talos. And we have a boat. Well, might as well check it out. And after that, we got to go to deal with Boethia stuff, and we also have to deal with her scene, but... Her scene, I remember the quest, I have never done the Boethia one, so that's the one I want to do first. Is there anything of interest here? Oh, that's a lot of wrecks. was one here, right? Right? Is there anything on this boat? Not really. Okay, let's see what's... It's just some floatsome. Pilgrim's Trench. More floatsome. Fish barnacles. Is there nothing in a shipwreck? Game! Come on, game, what is this? Apprentice chest, well, let's see. Oh, come on! 
Well, that wasn't worth it. I am very unimpressed. Anything here? see anything in this blur is making my eyes feel a bit uncomfortable so let's get out Highly unimpressive. Let's visit the stone. Oh, it's the one up there, isn't it? Yes, we are not getting... are not going to visit it right now. I fear. I wonder if there's something else there that's interesting. Finally not afraid of cats. camp up there. Let's try to investigate. What is that? Is Kaden following me? Or is Kaden waiting somewhere? I'd have told him to wait. Command. No, it's, it's following. I guess he was just exploring. Give me back the night vision. Is this the way up? Maybe. Maybe not. What's that sound? What is this sound? I don't know, the sound is not really talks telling me about a good day. Who he's fighting, but whatever floats his boat. I hear a bear. Quicksilver, nice. We're going to we're going to mine it in a second. Tower stone. It's kind of fitting. All right. Oh, there's two of them.
probably just another abandoned camp, but check it out. Trius's camp. Anything of interest here? Empty water skin. Or Shelly. Your ship should have arrived weeks ago, and I'm af I fear the worst, the worst has happened. I've set up camp on this rock as your ship should pass by here, and hopefully one of these days we'll be together again. If you're reading this, I'm probably hunting out, out hunting or bringing in some supplies. I'll be waiting here until I see your face again. Maybe he is hunting out, maybe she will still come, so... We don't know how old this is. It cannot be too old since the note wouldn't li live too long. The wind or the rain would have gotten it for sure. And so let's leave it there. Let's not be a cause of some horrible misunderstanding like from the Romeo and Juliet or something. It's not so chaos into the world. Enough of this running around point pointlessly. We're going to fast travel to Winterhold. Bring the news about the missing apprentices. Or was that not all of them? Let's see in the journal. And then I think we will finish the quest for Molag Ball. Get that one cultist out and the next time we'll go for the rest of them. Maybe they will recruit someone on the way and we'll be able to get rid of another douchebag. <laughs> okay, so... We have found Borovir and Rundi. We have, I think we found all of them, right? But it doesn't seem so. Oh, one is right there. Okay, let's just go right back where we were just a second ago. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really sleepy. Well, maybe not that sleepy, but kind of s sleep. I'm not even sleep deprived. I'm not sleep deprived. I'm not. I am kind of sleepy, but mostly unconscious <laughs> and a little bit brain dead currently. So you have to forgive me. I mean, you don't have to, but it would be nice if you did. We can wee <laughs> a bit more. So, okay then, you like pets? Oh, what are you? No, what are you? Damn it. What is this? I wanted to watch wildlife. Oh no, it's another dramen. Oh no, it's another dramen. And this time there is no frost to ass to distract it. Uh, Horker, help me. Everything just gets deleted. Frost, distract him with your <laughs> amazing ass, please. Okay. 
kind of don't think there is anything we can do to it. So not with these arrows we can't. Is something shooting at me? We have got to cheese this. There is no way to win this without cheesing it. At least this one doesn't spit uh, spit frost at me, so that's a bit easier. Okay, it's, it's not the smartest, not the sharpest tool in the shed, so there is that. Okay, that's just Caden, right? Shooting at the monster, not at me. Draman anyway. I am mercilessly cheesing it, but there is absolutely no way I would kill it any other way. On the bright side you can see how, how much black can stack on one creature. Bloody frost ramen. Oh my goodness, this is creepy. We got him, Caden. We got him. Oh, this one actually had stuff. The other one didn't have anything. Oh, I like this one more. Dragon scales. Dragon bone. Dragon scales, dragon teeth, shield of dwindling magic. We'll not take these, they are not expensive. We'll always take potions. Potions of Slayer Gonians. Maybe. Arcane Ward 3, we actually bought it. Mage Code 2. Well, all right, all right. This was much better than the other one, which had jack shit. Let's open this. We found those on the altar by beside the blood head, blood hybrids. This is the Fulmeresque journal. Well, okay. We have cheese the dremen. I wouldn't say we defeated one, but we have cheesed it successfully. More. Where's your, your pony, Caden? Where's your pony? I guess you let you let it explore things just as I let you explore things, huh? Super cat. Saria doesn't like bears and she doesn't like big cats. broken it just doesn't, doesn't seem to be dealing damage to anything what is up with it oh because i am shooting disintegrate corpse at people well no wonder it doesn't do damage to anything. oh great well played uh that is truly well, I prefer that than the spell being broken. <laughs> okay. What 
are you? Charcoal Heiko. Oh, Isra. Flame cloak spell, huh? Fire cloak. Yeah, that didn't quite work out, did it? I'm sorry. But my goodness, you girl just made some bloody amazing flames. He said you were missing for a month and it's still burning. I think she was a genius. She just needed better guidance. Does it have a fancy effect? Sophisticated. I don't know if we can cast it. We can't. How about if we take off the shoes? Oops. Ah, vampire on fire! No! Kaden, I'm burning! Kaden! Save me! Right. Um. Uh, back there. This time I'm actually pressing the college, not the winter halt. That will also help a bit. Sorry about not playing the, the, the whole thing again, but... It was a difficult battle and just required some retrying and I didn't really want to do this again. <laughs> I'm sure there will be more. I think I have sufficiently demonstrated what is what it was about. So basically the first time the first time around instead of the goblins there were skeletons, which isn't that much of a difference. The point was to attack the cultists while they were distracted by the skeletons slash goblins it could be done again this time because the goblins were fine but i agree have you seen the immersive college of winterhold it's bloody marvelous what do you think of the college, college of I've heard it do some things that cause terrible stench, that's what they said in the tavern. Which did not get recorded, but now you know. Now you know. Some experiment went wrong and everything was terribly stinky. Mm, you don't want to see inside? Do you have something against magic? I know you suck at it, but... Magic is used for healing and innovation too. A source only purpose is to kill. <laughs> it's called steel in your skull. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't resist. Uh, first lesson down, we actually completed that. Let's just say he was here. Soul stealing and blowing things up? Probably. We'll be studying the Sarthal excavation soon. Sarthal? The 
You want to come see it, don't you? Well, it's not the first room we've dealt with these two. The doors will clear up there. Let's go. Mm. But I really think we have a better library than those guys here. Because the library is probably the best part of the museum so far. So, enough of this College of Winter Holt sucking up. Okay, Finis, where are you? Here you are. Yeah. I'm keeping an eye on the car. You can trust the thumb of lucky about as far as an animal can jump. I agree. There are a few places where one can smile and work without fear of execution. I'm afraid Isra didn't survive. God. And it wasn't pretty. Is it hers? Is it it? And this belonged to Borvir. Yes, I recognize it. Well, I suppose I can even wonder where he is. I found this. It's ruined, this, isn't it? It certainly is. Was, I suppose. He would never have been living with it. It is she And I found the last tie too, here's proof. Oh dear. I had to take a little help her. Once she overcome the difficulties, she could have been quite I found all the missing apprentices and in the future let's try talking talking face to face, huh? I know it's not easy, but we shall attempt. Well, all of the previous apprentices have been helpful thanks to you. Here, why don't you take this? Was was intended to be given to the best in the neighborhood as a reward for their hard work. It's, it's the least I can do for your help with this is not to waste. Oh dear, I didn't, I didn't think he'd say anything like that. That, <laughs> that wasn't was a joke, joke really. really. Until the next time. Until. Let's see if we've got any more books for us. What have we got for sale? We want this. Let's get this. Famed Act, Effects of Tamriel. King Edward. Neverine Cult notes. And the true nature of orcs. And that's it. Slowly but surely, we are completing the library. We are importing more books, we are buying them. Let's turn the mage code and let's see the true nature of works. Actually, what is it about? No, Malakath. Yada yada. Okay. So the apprentices have been accounted for. And can we already go to Wailandria? Do we have all of her crap? Yeah, we do. No, that's Constance Michael. And Branshai, what else do we need for Wailandria? We could complete all those tiny quests in this episode, I think. That's Kalselmo. What else are, are we missing? Iverstead. So there's also Book of Laughter. Book of Love. Where is it? Where is it? The Book of Love. Here it is. Okay, so instead of going for the Boethia cultists, because that will probably be a longer episode, I mean a longer quest, let's go to Iverstead. Well, we must get out of here first. 
And once we are there, let's uh, let's complete the small quests. Just a little bit of a chilly kind of episode. It will do me well after the frustration of the video not recording, I suppose. Because I'm still a bit salty. Good thing the most, the biggest part of the video that has been lost, that the, the half an hour was me trying to find the, uh, the treasure under the college bridge, but I couldn't find it. I don't know where it is. I've tried. I've given it a truly first shot. And I will just save it here in case it crashes. It takes less time than a, than a loading screen, so... I have to go to the Shrine of Azrura at some point, too. So many things to do, honestly. Many, many, many things to do. We can also give the amulet back to Torbjorn, because we have, the, we have those amulets aplenty. So... After we do this... Let's pick up one of the amulets at home that we have. I will um, I will go with the code so that we can skip one loading screen. Then we will go out into the Riften, finish the quests, two quests or three quests, and then we will go give the amulet back. And it will actually put us a little bit ahead. And then we will go to the Reach, because there we have the Boethia stuff, uh, the, the House of Horror stuff, and the Eve's Guild stuff. I think we should wait until morning, but... Let's have a drink first, so we don't actually burn or something. Might still happen, but... I don't know why sometimes I just die when I'm waiting. What's up? Have a wolf. I don't know what's happening, but have a wolf. Okay. Where's everybody running off to? Bandits, huh? Hey, hey. Yes, uh, but how did you know I was coming? No way, the gods are actually doing something? Yes, what is troubling you? Sounds a little confused. What do you mean you think you love him? I don't, I don't want, want to choose. It's so amazing. Okay, we can talk to her parents. Oh, Orcish Dagger, we'll take that. Hi. Don't worry, I've just eaten. <laughs> um, your daughter asked me to speak to you. What would inspire them to leave? You're a good woman. 
Elsa. Well, I'm leaving to help you, and also Riften is really not that far away from here. We can take a carriage and be here in five minutes. So, you know. So this is the father. Let's see what we can talk. We can say to the father, if, if anything. Because maybe we could convince him. Maybe she wouldn't have to deal with him afterwards. Oh, she asked me to speak to you. I'm sure I know this. She thinks she's in love with Bassiano. She wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels. But he stopped stop talking about you. Now, now if, if I, I thought she was really in love with Bastianus, that, that would be one thing. But she's, she's a child. It would look bad. Why do you want her to stay so badly? Look, look around, around here. There's not, There's not much left. There used to be a good-sized town. town. Folks, Folks have, have been moved to Rifton for a while now. If all, if all the young people leave, there's nothing to do. You think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like, and like always, the boy, the boy likes any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push and this will all be simple. Let's get out of town as fast as you can. That's not for anyone. See, the thing is, he really does care more about the town than his daughter's happiness. And yes, it may just be a fleeting love, but A. Riften is really not that far away. B, as we have seen already, people in Skyrim, they can die at any moment in time. So what, what is the point of trying to wait it all out? I mean, look at this person here. There was just some random bandit here. And he already killed somebody here. Gwilin. Gwilin is no more. What if Gwilin here was waiting to grow up, to try to find happiness? There is no time for it in Skyrim. Rest in peace, Gwilin. But... Also, the, the, the woman is not a child. She's a grown-ass woman. She's probably like 17 if she's young, let's say. And she's still full, fully grown up, so the father can't decide Something like that, just because he wants his town to be fine. So, if they are in love, they are in love. Let's wait an hour, maybe. Let's see if we can get there without getting a bounty, though I suppose this would be trespassing. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's see if we can just talk to somebody in there. Oh, we are actually not here to talk, we are to here to recover the spoon. Anything else that I would be interested in here? Yes. Want to string with guitar. Somebody die. Somebody died. Who died?
Pemba White Arm. Who was that? Somebody from Riften. Because, uh, well, from the Rifts, because the, the Jarl, Lila, yeah. yes. talks about it, so... Hmm. I don't remember Temba White Arm. What he said to talk to you about Fastred? She said you should elope. But he said she'd handle you after he's not the, the bravest guy in the world. Maybe we should have talked to Klimek. Hey, let's see what Klimek has to say before we say anything here. And fuck him, boring conversation. It was a conversation about his love, and if that's boring, then maybe Klimek would be better. I went with the passengers of the way to the high rock car, about to make a delivery of this myself. I hear you lost Fastred. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure, sure what happened. One, one moment she's smiling at me, the next, I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bossy 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 Probably appreciates assertive men. What did, what did you call, call me? She has a poor taste in men. <laughs> well, let's see what happens. I mean, that you should be bold because I know that Klimek is actually bringing supplies to the great birds' beard, so he's actually. Kind of doing something good, probably, unless that's just his job, which is also possible. The other guy seems to be like, Meh, but this one seems to be. Ugh. Hmm. The other one does sound to be in love with her and this kind of, but I am not into... I'm not into trapping a young girl in a village if she wants to go to a big city and live a different kind of life. But let's see what he says. Let's save it here. And let's see what happens and then I will make a choice. I mean that you should what, be bold. What do you, mean I should just tell her, tell her how I feel? What do you have to lose? I think the chicken blocked him. Let's give him a m moment to regain his composure. what the other route will do. Uh, though she really isn't in love with anybody. She... Maybe she truly is just a child at this point because she was like, I'm in love and then, oh, this shit's done together, okay.
Maybe she should stay. Let's see what this guy says. Let's see how both of those go and then we'll make a choice. <laughs> you know, important quests in the game. Fuck Thieves Guild. This is about love. Actually, the, the fun part here is I actually have a choice here. It's not just go there, click this, do that. And choices are always fun in games. He's not very responsible, is he? But let's let let's let the girl have her adventure, just not work on a farm her entire life and not have her life decided by her father also. She should be able to make her decisions and if, if it's a bad decision, well she'll take a carriage back home and in five minutes she'll be there. So yeah. Okay. This is how we're going to do it. Um Crifton Honey side. I don't want to go through the loading screen to the door and then through it, so whatever. We will take one amulet of K. Then we'll deliver the news around here. And perhaps just bring the amulet to Torbjorn and then this will be the end of the episode. Just a little bit of a catch-up, quest-wise. What are you doing here? Oh, because I reset everything. God damn it. You do not belong here. Get out of my... chair. Yes, we are going to the museum as well. Oh, I'm in little for K. Okay, in that case, let's go to the museum first. Because I just, I really want to get rid of her. We'll say hi to Sophie. See how she's settling down. See if Orion has some news for us. And drop Ayana off, importantly. Just, she just broke into our home. I'm half tempted to just disable her. I would not. It sounds disgusting to fill a library with things like that. Where is she? I live here here. She still lives at the museum, but she'll be able to spend some time here, so.
have a garden and shit. And actually, no, this will be too cold and shit. I can't, can't do it. She's not a bad person. She just doesn't belong in my house. That's all there is to it. And so she must not be there. Miko is probably gone as well. This is quite quite a collection. Okay. Come here, Ayana. Come here, Ayana. More residence set. Command. You know you will not. It's my house. Stay away from my house. Hi. Thanks. Anything new happening? Sounds great to me. Thanks! Aren't you just the most organized and capable person, huh? Okay, what have we gotten as uh, as an artifact? I didn't really look good. This has got to go. Scourge. Probably go somewhere here. Staff of Worms. Sorry, Gaiden. What's up? What's there? Grave digger, Grim Sever. We have two grave diggers somewhere, I think. At home, maybe. Scourge. Scourge, this isn't it. The Pale Blade, huh? The baser sounds familiar. I think it was in Oblivion. No, I won't find Scourge here, this way. No? Sure. Guess not. Somewhere else. Whatever. Anyway... Let's visit Sevo. Hi. How are you doing? That is good. How did we get to the safe house again? Oh, there I think. By the way, let me look at the stones. So, yeah, we don't have to accept them. We just have to take them. The tower is here, for instance. It's a hall of oddities. That's not where I want to go. I 
do not actually remember how you go to the safe house that you haven't been doing that an awful lot. Have it stuck in my head that you go there through here, but that's not it, is it? See, Ayana is happy here. She, she cooks things and all. And helps around the museum. That's her place. Not my house! Through the library, is it? I know that's how you go to the armory. I am having a massive brain fart right now. How do you get to the safe house? I have gone there very recently and I was like, oh, that's how you do it. Up there is, wait, that's also where the safe house is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. 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 The brain fart is over. See if Sophie made it. If the game ever loads. Hi. That's good to hear. Most welcome, Sophie. Ayana is back here, so I'm sure you know her already. And Miko will be back soon as well. Just gotta bring him back. We have the horn, so we, we can find him easily. It's just at home, I think, right? No, we actually have it here. Right, uh. Miko, hey. <laughs> hey, then be nice. <laughs> ah, I guess he can come with us for a second. Only he got a little bit bugged, I think. I think he has to travel with us for a while, so Kaden gets a bit accustomed to a doggy presence. I cannot get out of uh, first person. I think the horn broke me. Okay, never mind. It's done. Miko is cute. Be nice. I will drag you both along as long as uh, until you make friends with each other. That's better. He really doesn't want those fleas, he just wants to be free. <laughs> not so fast. I am not yet convinced. Those are actually pretty good things. Thanks, Sophie. Careful there, Frank. there will be another kid here soon enough for you to play with. So you don't you won't have to be stuck just well actually there is a kid that um, visits the museum I'm sure they play together a lot so it's not so bad could have just used the book to go through it's fine Go to Riften. 
Or maybe let's go to to Windham first. Hi, Malakai. It is quite okay, quite okay. It's actually good life at the museum, I think. Just entertain the guests, eat, take care of the displays. Maybe after we are done adventuring and all of that, we'll just join Orion at the museum and live the rest of our lives there. Just tending to the displays, talking about their adventures. Sounds like a good plan for Surya. But for now she still has a lot of things to gather. Rough, rough. Okay, now let's go to Windhelm. Give Torbjorn his amulet. Quest that I was trying to get and thinking I didn't have, well, I did have it, so it's time to put it to rest. And after that we'll, we'll travel to the Reach. Well, not in this episode, in the next episode I think we'll travel to the Reach. Take care of some business there. And then we'll see, probably gotta get this ring situation sorted. Our primary motivation right now, or rather the, the way I choose the quests, is based on the items from my inventory that I want gone. Hi, hi, hi. I uh, here's an amulet of Arcade that she wanted. I hope Arcade grants my wife some comfort. Thank you. Here. I always pay my debts. Thanks, and keep taking good care of those Argonian workers of yours, will you? Yes, yes. Now to find myself a dream. Okay. Progress! Now let's go to Riften, because we've got quite a few things to take care of here. This is going to be a long episode, isn't it? Oh well, it's fine. Yeah, I think when it comes to quests, it would be much more engaging if more of the quests featured some choices for the player. Even if it's a tiniest choice, something that's not very engaging or relevant. This Book of Love, right? The quest, it's not very engaging, it's not extra interesting or anything like that. But when you have a choice, even a choice as silly as that, you pay more attention automatically because you get to make a choice. And it's not a choice between whether I do the quest or ignore it, but between two fine options, right? And that's... or two crappy options. This is a dick to become an expert anyway. Ingots, man, ingots. Seriously. I mean, I meant it. It wasn't a joke. So basically, more choices. More choices for the players. Far 
Fine, I know. You don't have to try and hint at it. We will go to the Black Bull's Barrow and get him the bloody stone. I know I've been slacking off. I know. He just doesn't want to say it. He's hinting at it. Yeah, my favorite bug, huh? Okay. Let's look into the light. Hi, Dinia. Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I help the young lovers in Neverstead. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love boils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Does Mara require, require more of me? I see you are eager to carry the light. Always. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone. Needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo. Wise, acid, and reclusive. Hmm. Help him we, well, we do know him. State his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Are we going to find uh, a lady for Kalsomo? Is that what's going to happen? The elusive Calcelmo that we are supposed to go talk to, who will not want to talk to us because he's that elusive and aloof and and just not communicative and social. Sounds like a challenge to me. Which it probably won't be, but let me be excited and imagine a fun quest while well, I don't have my hopes ruined yet. Maybe it will be a fun quest. Maybe I will not get my hopes ruined ever. Oh, I did actually save in Riften. Never mind. Didn't have to do this. Okay, so let's go and give the things to Wylandria. What time is it anyway? Six, six, seven. She'll probably be asleep, but it doesn't matter. We'll wake her up. See, we have another quest in the Reach, and I guess we can go to Ragged Flagon and get four quests or five quests in Markarth as well. Yes, I still don't know if it's Markarth or Markarth, so I say it randomly as I say most of the things randomly. I'm sorry if it's annoying. It's just... For instance, when I'm recording something for, for a character, I can think about how I'm pronouncing things, if it's right, I can correct it. But when I'm just jammering, yammering, gibbering for an hour, it just... It's whatever, whatever comes, goes, you know. Hi. Um, that's a very good question. Let's risk it. Maybe nobody saw us. I mean, a little snack won't hurt. Oh, god damn it, it will hurt. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> good thing I saved. I think we need to be more sneaky about it. Because normally the people were not waking up. And suddenly she did wake up. And Miko was like, chomp chomp. <laughs> but that is tasty, you know, wizard blood. I don't know why that's ironic. I don't know what Malakath is and why his realm being built on a gigantic spine would be ironic. I guess it is, I just don't know the lore. <laughs> and this one reminds me of the, f um, the first chapter of my book, actually. Yes, yes, hand. Okay. Did actually load. <clears throat> I want to try and drink from her. I will save it before though. <laughs> Let's not be dumb again. So we were like just I want to talk to nah I'm I'm going to bite her. <laughs> That's probably not the best way to go about uh, being a vampire. 
Saria is learning. She's she 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 got hungry suddenly and was like, yeah, yeah, actually, I'm going to. And she saw that it's possibly not the way, so she had to turn back time, try again. I still have absolutely no idea how we could possibly devampirize ourselves, so I'm slowly but surely just making peace with the fact that we are in fact a vampire and I will probably be uh, doomed to play play a vampire till the end of the bloody playthrough. Because... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And, well, it is what it is. Actually, pickpocket and see what she's got. This is a horrible chance to steal things. Probably because we have boots and stuff. Well, whatever, feed it. And Saria doesn't really bite people on necks. She's more of a belly biter, from what I've seen. In this case, I guess it was more of a boob biter, but... It's never a neck. She, she's, oh, she's not very good at vampir vampiring. Yes, I have all your items for you. Items? What items? Let me see those. Hmm. I'm not sure how you managed it, but these are exactly what I need to start my next set of experiments. I'm psychic. Wonderful. You're welcome. Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny <laughs> foresight. She's so small. I wonder what race she is. Breton? Oh, that's a lot of things. Well, actually, five scrolls. All right. Okay. Now, where did I put those spiders? No, she's going to be the wood elf. Haha! -ha! Amazing grace recognition. She's even smaller than than Saria, and Saria is feeling quite small compared doing? to people. Look at this. Caden is just so much higher. Everybody's so much higher. You see, they are making friends. They are already, Kaden is already less concerned with flies. And now he sees Miko is clever. He knows the commands and all. I knew he would grow on you, Kaden. Look at them. They are just being friends now. Hi, Miko. I don't know, maybe we'll take Miko with us for, for a little bit of adventuring. He's, he's not strong. I did not buff him, so he's probably very weak. I will set him to passive. If he goes with us anywhere. That really depends on what kind of quests we'll be doing, because two, two companions might be too difficult to co control for me. One is already a pain in the ass sometimes. But Miko is cute, I always liked him. And the biggest pain I always had with Miko before I had the mod was that you can't really make him live at home with you. You can't really adopt him per se. When you tell him to go away, he will always go back to the shack. So that's, that's sad, but with the mod, he actually lives with us and we have the horn, we can always summon him. Because we have the mod for the companions, of course, and we also have a mod for Miko that adds the horn to him. So he's more of... Uh, it's more a case of him being our doggy. I just wish there was an option to tell him he's a good boy or give him a treat. Because he's a good boy. Hi! Yeah, we'll take him, we'll take him along for a while. I have decided it's going to be even less lonely on the road. Maybe we'll make him out wait outside the dungeons or something because he he cannot fight really. Okay. Um What? Yes. Samuel. Constance Michelle says we have to be careful of people we don't kill. Hi. I used to hate it here, but it's not so bad anymore. Constance is real good to us. Things are much better now that Grow is dead. But still, I'm sick of this place. I feel you, but I'm glad it's more livable. They will grow up to be better people than they would be if Grelot was 
still running the place. Hi, Constance. This war has created so many orphans, and so few are willing to open their hearts to them. So could I adopt one of your children? Why, yes. Yes, of course. What a wonderful surprise. What do I need to do? First, I'll need to ask you a few questions. Your name? Oh, Saria. What do you do for a living? <laughs> um, I'm an adventurer. I am definitely not the kettle thief. I have not robbed every cow in this uh, in this um, province blind. Mm -hmm. Where will your child be living? At my new family home at the museum in solitude. It's really gorgeous. Very well. That's all I need from you. Congratulations. I think you'll make an excellent parent. Go meet the children and decide who you'd like to adopt. Once you've made a decision, I'll collect their things and be sure they make it over to your house. Alright, well, I hope the adopt event is mouth works because that's the one we want. You're here to adopt someone? Really? Oh, wow. Aventus. Aventus. God damn it, Miko. Are you really gonna adopt one of us? Drawer. Here we go. You came to visit. So much better you. Rahan gone. Hey there. I could adopt you if you want. Really? Do you do you have a place I could live? Yeah. Oh wow. Are you are you sure? And there you is really mind? there is a girl that lives there, so you will have a friend. I'm sure. Really? You mean it? Well, thanks, Ma. I promise I won't be any trouble at all. I'm sure you'll be some trouble. You did try to summon Dark Brotherhood. Just, just let me get my things and say goodbye to everyone. But I'll meet you at home. Thanks. That will be a good place for you, you know? Maybe you'll grow up to be an adventurer. Like me. And then you'll take an arrow in the knee. He, he, he. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, let's go. Actually, let's wait uh, like four hours so that branch eye comes out. And now Aventus will be li living with Sophie at the museum, so they will not be bored. And when we are in Whiterun, we will also grab Lucia, because she's an urchin living on the street. And then there is one more kid, but that's for, for later. Where are you going? What's up? Hi. I found a book that might help you search. Let me see that. Yes, yes. This is it. I don't know how you found this stranger, but you obviously succeeded for I I have magical map markers. Let me offer you this key. It unlocks my strong box under my stand in the marketplace. Help yourself to anything inside. Azura's wisdom. Have it for friend uh, for sale. Any books that I don't have yet? And here, I suppose. Okay, what have you got in your stand? But you know, I will not take too much unless I can't resist it. I might not be able to resist it. I am so sorry. I, you can have the book, though. But these are gems. I must. I must. I also must. I also must. No, um... There you go. Yeah, forget it. And have it. And you can get this. Get away. Get away from me! Just because I was lurking, I mean, sneaking. That's why he was like that. Okay, so... 
um, yeah, we have officially completed quite a few quests. And in the next episode, we can get on with some more interesting business. These are for the interesting book things. Trying to parry it. We have to go there. Where is the um? Where are the other quests actually? This is where we go for the priest for Molag Ball. And where are the cultists for Boethia? Somewhere else, huh? I'll just have to speak to the Yarl of Falkreath. That's the monument. Where are those cultists? I thought they were in the reach somewhere. But I might have been mistaken. What does the quest say? Western Falkreath Hold. Here. Hmm. Ah, that would be a long trip. I was thinking to go through here, adventure there, there. I mean, it is a long trip, but where are we in a, in a rush to? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll, we, we will fast travel. Maybe we will not. That remains to be seen in the next episode, and this one really has to end because it's, I have a feeling it's been like two hours long. So, uh, yeah, until next time. <laughs>